With Holman under center, J.J. goes in motion again to the right side, and on first down, straight drop by Holman. He'll throw it out. Pass is going to be caught at the 45. Breaking a tackle is Rennell Hall. He's up to the 48-yard line of first down. Good for a gain of 12 for UCF. And Nick Montana drops to throw. Again with time, he looks, plenty of time, rolls out, backpedals, now throws off his back foot incomplete. Terrence Plummer had the coverage on Dontrell Hilliard. Justin drops, looks right, pumps, looks, throws downfield, man is there, passes caught of the 49 first down. Catch is made by Rennell Hall, and it's good for a gain of 23 to the 48. Snap down, kicks on the way, and the kick is good. A line drive, 47-yard field goal by Moffitt. Second down, back to throw Montana. Here comes pressure, throws, pass is going to be caught, but a tackle made by Terrence Plummer after the pressure came up the middle for UCF. The snap, here comes pressure. Nick's going to step up, try to run. 20, 25, 30, 32, 35, and up to the 36-yard line. He runs for 16 yards and a first down for UCF. Two receivers right, one to the left side on first down of the 48. Here's a handoff, stand back, it's across 45, he's to the 40, at the 35, at the 30, and knocked out of bounds inside the 30-yard line. Gain of 19 for Williams, stand back, and the first time in a while we've seen a play outside lead a positive yard for UCF. They'll pitch it left, stand back, looks for blocking, gets inside the 10, he's towards the 5, towards the 2, 1, is he in the wow, end zone? They'll effort. mark him down just shy at the 1 yard line, a gain of 12 for stand back from the 1. And off stand back, the wall moves towards the end zone, he is across touchdown, Williams stand back. A 1 yard touchdown, one of with 4.20 to play in the second quarter, UCF has a 9-3 lead. And the snap, he looks to throw the slant. It's going to be intercepted by Jacoby Glenn at the 28-yard line, spinning to the 25, and he's knocked down there. Jacoby Glenn, a one-handed pick, and the Knights take over a great field position. Glenn comes up with his fourth pick of the season and a sixth of his UCF career. Snap is down, the kick is up, and the kick is good. So the Knights get three, and with 2.18 to play, second quarter lead by a score of 13-3, to three, returnable. Hall at the 1, across the 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, and midfield for Renault Hall. The snap, here comes pressure, Holman throws, caught Perriman, 35-30, breaks the tackle to the end zone, it'll go, it'll be a touchdown, Turbo shot Perriman, 45 yards, and a 19-6 lead for UCF. Goes the distance, 45 yards, his third TD of the season, extra point is good. He'll play fake, back to throw, rolls out to his right. Still looking now, stops, throws, pass is going to be intercepted on the 47-yard line, to the 40, to the 35-30, to the 25, fumble, football is free. And who has it? Brandon Alexander picked it off. They mark him out of bounds to the 27-yard line. So Brandon Alexander gets the interception. He did step out of bounds, so the fumble will not matter. Alexander gets his second pick of the season, the sixth of his UCF career, and the Knights will get it back. Montana. Handoff, Thompson did not get it. He, he stopped. stops him. Thomas Niles, Terrence Plummer, and company make the stop on Thompson, and UCF will take over with 3.41 to go. Montana back to throw. Looks, looks, throws downfield. Pass is incomplete. What a play. Clayton gathers right there with enough contact as Justin Shackelford almost had a big time catch. Fans come cheer on the Knights as they take on the Temple Owls on Saturday, October 25th. It's homecoming at Bright House Network Stadium, presented by CFE. 